we knew what we wanted. We wanted to get out of Joplin, and we wanted to get four-year funding, and we wanted to build the buildings out on the farm. A bill was introduced in the House. Bob Young and I sponsored that bill, and he was well-respected and well-thought of. Richard Webster, who had previously been in the House, went to the Senate. And he was in the Senate where he used his influence to help the bill be passed. At the time in uh, August when I came, they had already passed the uh, bond issue, two and a half million dollar bond issue for the, some of the buildings of the new campus. They acquired the property from the uh, Frank Wallier and his wife. I think it was 233 acres first, and then they were able to add more. Everybody was working on it, especially that second year. And we came out, uh, you know, we could get called, we had to develop a whole curriculum. You know, we had to get a catalog. You can't come out and be a, have a third year without a catalog. And so we were designing a catalog, writing curriculum, uh, requirements for degrees, it was not uncommon to get a call, well, uh, weekends, Thanksgiving. Uh, can you come out? We're working here. The teachers here were fabulous. They also took the time to ask me how I was doing all the time. And they weren't just professors, they were friends. Fred Hughes was the, the spark plug. He had been an FBI agent during the war. I knew lots of people, and of course, Dr. Billingsley was quite a politician. Fred Hughes called him and said, we would like for you to be president of, of a four-year college. We want to make Jasper County Junior College into a four-year college, and we want you to, to be the leader. And my dad loved challenges, and he said, yeah, that's what I want. I want to go back. He was a, a workaholic to the nth degree. They, People would say he burned the, the candle at both ends. He would work most of the day and then leave for Jefferson City and then come back in a day or so. You could tell he had just <laughs> worked to the nth degree. Fred Hughes and Dr. Bellingsley were really the spark plugs. I don't know what we'd done without them. George Spiva was had been known here in this community for a long time, the early mining days. He was very helpful. Gene Taylor was a very significant player. It was incredible to, to see something that had been a farm become a college campus, just almost like overnight. It was just so exciting to see new buildings go up and, and think that this was going to be a campus where I'd go to college someday, which I did. and. Uh, Never dreamed I would be teaching here someday as well, and uh, never dreamed that I would be sitting here telling you about this years and years later. So it's, it's been an exciting journey. Our legacy is yet to come, and students uh, are helping, and I think the best is yet to come. I mean, it's a, probably the most beautiful campus in the Midwest. The college has been a great asset for this area, and will continue to be for many, many years to come. Can you believe it? And look how big it is. How many buildings you have. And would we have ever believed it when it was a little two-story brick building?